Right, I've just come out of the gym and while I was in there I got inspired to make this video because I filmed a couple of clips this morning which I'm going to show you in a minute and I want to show you and highlight the benefits of two things. The first thing is the Atlas realignment that I've made a video about before. Now if you don't know what it is, if you haven't seen that video or you're unfamiliar, um, the Atlas is the topmost vertebrae in the back of your, like at the top of the spine and 100% of humans have a misalignment there. We're born with it, the reasons why, that's another conversation. But I had mine realigned about a year ago and my body's thrown itself back into realignment after lots of, yeah, it's been, it's been a journey, really, really powerful, profound journey. And I wanna show you some of the benefits now that I can experience because of the things my body's gone through. Now, as I said, I've just come out of the gym and I ran on the treadmill for 30 minutes straight and I filmed it because I want to show you how exercise is supposed to be for humans because most people not being funny they do it wrong and they damage their body you're not supposed to get yourself all fatigued and out of breath and panting till your face is red this is why athletes retire around age 35 because they're not actually they're damaging their body as they push themselves further and further all you do when you do that is increase your tolerance to stress um, and yeah, slowly damage your body. And while you've got a tolerance for it, the body is slowly degraded. But when your atlas is in place and your body's in alignment, you will breathe naturally into your diaphragm with your nose, with your mouth closed. And I've just filmed myself. Here is me, 30 minutes on a treadmill, five and a half K, not one mouth breath. Here you go. Thirty minutes of straight running. Like I'm a little tiny bit out of breath, but you'd expect me to be like <sighs> I'm actually fine. And this is because I breathe properly because my body's in alignment and I've got the plaque out, but mostly because of the atlas. See, that's what recovery breaths are supposed to be like. They're supposed to be deep in the belly, and long and slow. And I squat like this because it's it opens everything up. It's comfortable. It's a natural position to be in. And I'm back to normal, for real. That's not, I'm not like pretending I'm back to normal. And that's how it should be. That was 30 minutes of running, five and a half K. Pretty good pace. And that's, that's how it's supposed to be. And yeah, you can see as I got off the treadmill, I've literally just come out of there, that there's no signs of fatigue whatsoever. Um, sorry that the clips are facing upright. I filmed it a bit dodgy. I should have filmed it the other way, but that's, how we learn things, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can see that there's just no fatigue. The only reason I stopped actually is because the treadmill automatically stopped me when it got to 30 minutes. I didn't know it was gonna do that um, because I was feeling so good running because it felt really good that I didn't wanna stop. But I did, yeah, it stopped me at 30 minutes. So I just thought, okay, I'll just end it here. Um, and another reason it felt so good for me is because of my diet. Now I'm back on the all fruit diet because I have realized that the all fruit diet is the best diet after lots and lots of experimentation. But that's not what this video is about. Um, well, I guess it is a bit because it's all health, all encompassed. But um, yeah, I don't have any acids in my joints from meats and starches and you know, like I'm eating a high, high hydration diet. So I'm not in any pain when I do these exercises. So it's all, it all just works together in conjunction to make me feel like a superhuman almost. Like I can run like that with no problem. Like I'm not gonna have to go and rest. I'm not gonna go and have to eat any more than I usually do because to be honest, it's like, it's just like going for a brisk walk. It's not, that's not, you know, that's not even, it didn't push me in any way. It was just comfortable. And I'm sure you're watching this thinking, 
oh you just do that all the time you just go running and you're just used to it that's the probably the fourth time this whole year that I've ran or done any sort of cardio I did a bit of kickboxing in the summer and that was cardio but for the last like two three months I haven't done any delivering ubers on my bike I guess that counts but still you know what I mean I can run 5k without any fatigue none like that's how humans are supposed to be we're supposed to be like you know like athletic and capable and the other thing that has happened as a result of getting the atlas realigned is the level of flexibility that i have achieved again without even trying training or practicing now i'm going to show you a few clips of some of the things that my body is now able to do and just bear in mind i never practiced this this didn't this wasn't something i had to keep trying to do over and over and over it just happened organically and here you go i'll just play them sorry they're going to be portrait mode again but you can you can see what's happening So the atlas realignment so the only reason i can do stuff like this and bear in mind i never practice this stuff i never have in my life and i've never been like a flexible person but i can do this now i never used to be able to and i can breathe while i do it as well I can also do this, sitting completely on my heels. And I can bend back pretty far, but sometimes I lose my balance and fall over, but I'm working on it. <coughs> See? Also, where my diaphragm is released from all the untwisting that my body's done, I can do this. Like, my Nauli career is getting better. So humans are supposed to be really flexible, really energetic, and really athletic. And we're not supposed to, you're not supposed to go for a run and then need to sit down for two hours, or for the rest of the day, or for the rest of the week. And it's not supposed to hurt. You're not, you're not supposed to be in pain afterwards, and you're not supposed to be in pain during it. It's supposed to be pleasurable. Your body's supposed to release euphoric endorphins and all of this stuff, but you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to like run, well, who am I to say what you're not supposed to do, but it doesn't make sense to me that you'd want to feel any pain. You're not supposed to like run until it hurts and then use your testosterone to, to run more, you know, to like push through it and hurt your body and put stress on all your joints. Yeah, man. Be a man, put stress on your body, damage yourself. Do you know what I mean? It seems ridiculous, doesn't it? Especially after seeing that. Like, there is a better way. There's an easier way. And it, it's the natural way. Like, yeah, and that's all I've got for you. But I hope that was uh, insightful.